What's up guys, today we are finally going to be testing this engine, it has been quite a while since I've done a video on this, um, and I'm sure quite a bit's changed, I honestly have not looked at the last video, so I'm just going to go through the whole thing, um, and this is what the three year project has turned into, um, I'll start it off here, we got the 3D printed fuel tank and the um, water pump technically that we're going to run through, uh, fuel through. Not sure if I'll be doing um, starting fluid or regular gas yet. We'll decide whenever we uh, feel like it. And then on off there and the battery for the fuel pump. And then the battery for the 3D printed little turbo there, which is honestly just a glorified air intake. Um, I have no hope that that's putting any compression into the engine, but it will um, feed air in and you can feel it. I mean, it's, it's decent. It spins up fast enough. And then we got the uh, spark system that I made, which is just um, this volt booster they called on eBay, which they so kindly put um, three to six volts on there. So we got a six. Shoot. So we got a six volt battery. Lucky I found one of these. Um, pretty rare. So we're running the six volt battery through that, obviously. Um, and the system I've done is just the one, um, the one end is two well technically one wire that's just cut and then um the 3d printed um adjustable flywheel so i could adjust um at what time it sparks i don't know if you can see down there it's adjustable um so i've adjusted all that and then basically when it comes around to make contact and then it goes through that um the voltage booster capacitor whatever you want to call it and then up to the uh spark plug right here which is just grounded uh very poorly there um, but that actually works pretty well. I'll put in a slow-mo slow video of it right here. Um, so I'm uh, not terribly worried about that. It seems to be working pretty well. Um, but at least the timing is delayed enough that it's not going to be blowing up before the pistons reach top dead center. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, and then we've got the, um, the EFI, I guess you could call it right there. The nozzle is just from uh, allergy spray. Um, I'll put in a video of that. I think I put it in the last video, but I'll put it in here too. Um, that actually works pretty well, but it does spray in a lot of fuel. Um, and then this is the starter system I've uh, 3D printed. So it's just um, where I'll attach the drill right here. Um, and then it'll spin. Obviously, it'll spin this way, but it won't spin this way. So once, if, sorry, the big if, if the engine does do anything, it won't completely uh, tear these um, axles apart because they are not um, sturdy by any means. Um, and so if, um, if you don't know what this is, this is a two stroke engine. So the fuel gets injected in here, goes through the crankcase, case and then up through this transfer port, uh, transfer port, which is, um, honestly way too small. That's, uh, got me a bit worried. Um, and then up into the cylinder here, and this is, um, an acrylic, uh, head I made real quick, just so we can, um, see into the piston when we try to start it. And in there, I've got a 3D printed piston. I decided to ditch the Lego one that was probably in a couple last videos, but I just 3D printed um, a piston so it'll have tighter um, compression in there because this one was really loose in there. So I just put this one in, um, but it's not cheating. It's still the same PLA. It's not any different. It's just um, for tighter compression because that's probably gonna be needed. Um, and so I've kind of been saying the three things you need for an engine are fuel, air, and spark. And the only consistent one I've got of that is fuel and a lot of it. So this is going to be an interesting uh, testing here. I'm kind of worried, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, um, if there's any questions, just leave them down below. But we'll get started here real quick. So I've got it all set up here for testing. I've got the uh, 
drill um, holder, whatever you want to call it, 3D printed there, um, so that I'll attach on right here, and then start from right there. Um, I've decided to go with starting fluid um, because I think gas is just going to be too um, hard to get started. Um, and so I just wanted to go over a couple of my doubts. Um, first of all, the lack of compression. Um, there's not much, but hopefully there's some just to at least get it around. Um, spark system, which is kind of iffy. Um, it's not very consistent, but it, the time I'm not worried about the timing. It's not going to be sparking before the uh, top dead center, so that's not too big of a problem. Um, the flywheel might not be heavy enough. Um, I've just got that and that, um, but it might not bring enough momentum for the um, crankshaft to spin around to bring the piston back up again. Um, and especially if the um, spark consistency is not good, then it might be a couple times before it gets another uh, explosion. Um, and then the crankshaft is not strong enough. These little tiny Lego axles, I'm not sure how the crankshaft is going to hold up, but uh, we'll see as well as a fuel to air ratio. I have little to no control over it. Um, this little potentiometer is about all I have. Um, <clears throat> Cause there's all I have for the turbo is an on off. So uh, that's gonna be a bit iffy. Um, as well as the head, uh, it's just made out of this acrylic. So uh, there's a possible for that to break, but that's not really high on my concerning list. Um, and last of all, uh, explosion and fire is very possible so I will be doing this outside and I will have a hose ready <laughs> right next to me um, but we'll see how it goes here I just realized as I was setting this up that um, I had the exhaust pointing right at the uh, air intake and all that so I just quickly uh, rerouted it um, which will keep it away from everything else and as well um, in theory in an actual engine would give some back pressure, but that's not even relevant here. So just to uh, keep it away from the air intake. Are okay, we ready? Yeah, I don't think the pump's working. No. That's annoying. Okay. I think it sparked. <laughs> what? I'm not sure what happened. So this is the aftermath of um, an unsuccessful test. Obviously you can see a lot of problems went wrong there. We couldn't get the fuel pump to um, prime right. So that was a big um, pain. But then I just decided to spray right into the intake right there. Um, and just about everything that I thought would go wrong didn't go wrong. Um, but what happened, or what we think happened, was um, there was an explosion or a spark, um, and it just blew the entire top of the cylinder off, uh, which is kind of disappointing that that's this, that small thing is what went wrong out of all of this that could have gone wrong. Um, but yeah, like the first thing I ever did was build that cylinder and that's the first thing that went wrong. So in hindsight, I would have made a solid cylinder or glued it down or something, but um, uh, yeah, not too happy. Just at least we got one explosion off and it shows because the whole thing popped off. But uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. So yeah, kind of a disappointing end to a long series here but uh that's about all we got i hope you enjoyed the one explosion we got off um and just let me know what you think in the comments and leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel